Hi, this is Shar. Thank you for joining me for my confession as a family lawyer. And today I want to talk about a little insight I have from divorce not being the final fix for codependent relationships. So we already know what a codependent relationship is, right? It's uh, also known as relationship addiction characterized by usually by one person in a relationship being the giver and the other person in a relationship being the taker. So when we talk about what the agreement is between the two of you um, in a codependent relationship, the agreement or the belief system or the contract that the giver has is that the taker needs me. And I need to take care of the taker. And the agreement or the belief system or the contract that the taker has is that I need the giver because I can't take care of myself. And so I'm hoping that you can see that when a divorce takes place, now it's almost always the giver who is looking for a divorce because what makes this type of relationship unhealthy is that number one, the giver is giving and giving and giving and giving like just beyond what's reasonable, ordinary, or necessary. Oftentimes sacrificing their own health, mentally, physically, emotionally, uh, their own finances for the benefit of the relationship where they believe that this other person needs me. And for the taker, the taker believes that they can't make it without the help. And the giver is exhausted, looking for a divorce attorney. I gotta save my life. Like it, it, it's literally a, I have to do this to save my life move. When codependence is the reason that a giver is seeking a divorce. In order to communicate to the taker, I'm not giving anymore. So this becomes a boundary. And boundaries are what are needed in breaking these types of cycles, creating healthy boundaries where you are protecting the gift that you have. Most of the givers in a codependent relationship are naturally givers right so there's the gift of being a giver but then if that gift doesn't have some guardrails around it if you haven't set some rules and some parameters around it then it can easily be exploited by people who are looking for an excuse not to show up for themselves so what if you can do that before you ever reach the point of exhaustion before you ever feel like you're, you're, you're on your last breath in a relationship. What if you can start doing the boundary work before you reach that breaking point? Because the truth is that the divorce will give you temporary relief, but without dealing with those underlying contracts and belief systems, both the giver and the taker will move on and find other codependent partners to enter into a new contract with. So these are my confessions as a family lawyer. Thank you for supporting Law for Love and the work that we're doing. We love you. We love your family and continue to pray for you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our content to help us do more amazing work in the community for our families. And with that, I look forward to next time.